What's up guys, Cameron, Tech Support Supervisor with Fuel Tech USA here with Brian Murphy and Thomas Powell's Nitrous Car. Um, why don't you let us know how it went on the dyno today? We had a couple of issues that we worked out in the beginning and then it was kind of an eventful day today. So. Yeah, we had an exciting day, uh, but basically they come in and cleaned the tune-ups up a whole bunch for us, got us where we needed to be. Uh, might have broke a ring gear or a pinion gear at the end of the last session, but uh, we, we're close. We're real close. They helped us out a ton. It's definitely an indication that you're making some more power now. So. Breaking shit, it's a good thing. <laughs> it can be a good thing. So this is a no time car, guys. I cannot tell you any numbers. I'm sure he'll wring my neck if I say anything. Uh, but it is a nitrous car and, and they're kind of a unique beast. Uh, they're a little more difficult to tune because it's kind of a, a volatile combination. Um, you really, really have to be on point with your fueling, really, really on point with your ignition timing. and. Uh, they're usually a lighter combination in class racing uh, just because they don't quite make as much power as some of the other combinations like supercharged and turbocharged stuff, but they do apply power very quickly. They're probably the combination that stacks power uh, into the run as quick or quicker than anything else. It makes a good challenge for a lot of people and that's why a lot of people like them. And big motors are just cool. Yeah, they I mean, them, they chase you, it's a race. So. <laughs> so uh, like you said, had a good time on the dyno day. Uh, broke something in the rear end, but that's okay. You guys will get, you'll get it fixed. And um, you guys got a race coming up soon? or yeah, we'll be in Montgomery next weekend. Next weekend in Montgomery. So keep your guys' eyes out for this car in Montgomery, and we'll hope to see you guys next time. 